the borough of Queens were at the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, it's the first of four between the L.A. Dodgers and the New York Mets. Number 87, the league's current home run leader will look to add a long ball or two to his total next. Play ball. Digging in now, number 87. He was an offensive force in the first half the and currently sits man. atop the league's number home run leaderboard. Yeah, Matty, he got off to such a hot start, he was able to relax and just be himself, and he has been absolutely killing the baseball. First delivery to him on the way. No balls and a strike to count. Dan Dero, you check out this Dodger team as they enter play here tonight. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, Dero, we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today, but boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one with you two guys. Definitely. The two teams playing top of their game right now, really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're going to see who's able to execute in this one. And there's ball one. Leone is a guy who throws a lot of strikes, rarely walks people, but what does bite him occasionally is the home run ball. Matt, this is a guy that's not a power type of pitcher, so he needs to rely on being down in the strike zone. One of the keys, he tends to lose being aggressive when he falls behind, and he kind of nibbles around the strike zone. And what happens with that, Matty V, he becomes very predictable. And when you don't have overpowering stuff, you tend to be able to get hit hard. The one two and this ball is crushed deep down the right field line and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul so a missed opportunity there batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there that caught too much of the plate he knew it he missed it he might not get another opportunity to put come on you can beat it you can beat Scooped it up. throw won't get him Oh, this is kind of unforgivable for the second baseman. He tries to square himself to the throw in the second to start the double play, and I'm not sure what happened next. Maybe his cleats got stuck, or maybe he just lost the grip, but the net result is E4 with two men batting on board. Four. No left fielder. Now batting, Merrill Doss. It was a two-for-four effort for him in Wednesday's game. Slapped hard the opposite way. Hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. Coming to the that plate now, Billy Perry. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here now the 2-2. Popped him up. Bravo is under it. Two gone. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Dero, what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? Yeah, Maddie, this lineup has struggled to score runs the last couple games, last three to four games to be exact. They're going to have to manufacture it in a different way. Can't wait for that two, three run homer. They're going to have to get guys on base, put the defense on their heels a little bit, maybe a little hit and run, maybe a little old school baseball. Settling in now, David baseman. Wilson, as he'll David. get his first opportunity Wilson. in this one. Two and two. Here it is. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Mets leave him loaded. Still no score. Digging in for his second at bat. Number 87. Number 0 for 87. 1 for him here in this one. ready to deliver here's the first pitch inside with the slider and that'll back him up a bit the 1 0 
misses. Ball two. Lopez, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Fouled away. The 2-1 home. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And that misses, so it's a full count, 3-2. and two. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think he's going to put the ball in play. And before the 3 2, a move to first. And the runner back. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Gone! Big Dog's got to eat. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number 59 on the season as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. He's one of the best home run hitters in the league, and rightfully so. You're not going to get cookies thrown at you every at-bat. Most guys can handle a fastball, but he waited back on that off-speed pitch and drove it right out of the yard. So striding in, Andres Bravo. He flew out in his last at bat. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Opportunity now to look at some of the future plans for this Mets organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. Now at the plate, Andreas Garcia. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Garcia. One, one, one. Ball to third. He's got it. And there's out number two. Now look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Coming to the plate now, number 87. He number comes 87. in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Well, you don't see this very often, Matty V. A two-strike straight changeup. But this guy changeup is one of the best in the league. We'll see if he tries that different approach this time. And maybe if he gets to two strikes, try to use the fastball a little bit more than that straight changeup. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. And he fouls this one off. Two runs, six hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Another 0-2 coming. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. and two. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to... Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. A 
solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game, and the Mets have taken a 3-0 lead. Well, you can see how pure his swing is, and that's why he's able to hit an incredible 60 home runs this season. Might as well start engraving his name on the MVP. Digging in, number 87. His performance in this one really speaks now to how dominant he's been number all year. He made short work of some solid pitching today. Yeah, usually it's the other way around, but when you sit in the top three in the home run lead in Major League Baseball, you're probably calling the shots yourself right now. This guy is on fire. He's already got a multi-homer game and looking for more. Ground Line it. drive, Hit base ball. hit to right. So that knock keeps the bottom of the sixth inning hot. Yeah, that hard hit single right there, that's clean. Three for four, he's looking locked in. So digging in now, Merrill Doss. He singled 24. his last time up. Merrill Doss. Here now the 2 2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Garcia. Come on, go is hard. There. You're scoring. Go on. And the inning is over. Fair to say. Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Ready now, number 87. Now Already back. a pair of long number balls on his line in this one, so we'll see what else he has in store here. First delivery to him on the way, fouled off. Feliz at second, Lopez at first with no outs. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 6 nothing ball game. Those are the ones you remember right there, Dan. That's his fourth RBI of the night, and that doesn't happen often throughout the course of a season. And you know, as a pitcher, you see what this guy's been doing. You know he's having a good night. He's a tough guy, and he's a tough guy to pitch around. Some nights you just have to tip your cap. A pretty good night. Four oh, ribbies in this one here. The left fielder, Merrill Shaw. Here's the 0-1. Takes this the other way to right, and that's in there. Base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. That pitcher's got to be shaking his head right now. You got to tip your cap right there. I'm still always impressed when offensive players are able to come out of the zone and still be able to make hard contact. Striding in, Billy Parrott. He'll swing no, it from the left side right four. here. Well, if you're looking Billy. for pop, he definitely Parrott. has more pop. More home run potential hitting right, from the left you're side. Up, you're up, you're this up. is his power side. There's one. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. A base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Ready once again, David Wilson, runner in scoring position with two gun. David. 3 Wilson. 2 pitch. Back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. An 8 nothing shutout this evening. The New York Mets led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. 
Jack Hansen earns his fifth winner of the year. And it's a dandy, a complete game, three-hit performance. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the Show Nation.